The intent of this video is to show you how Economize Your Control works. Economize Your Control is the modulation of the outside air damper and the return air damper to meet the load of the building without the use of heating or cooling coil if uh, possible. We're going to go through a couple scenarios looking at the uh, ideal mixed air temperature of this air handler based on some design criteria. We're going to assume that our return air temperature is at a constant 72 degrees. Our outside air temperature for this scenario is going to be 41 degrees. And our discharge air temperature is going to be 55 degrees. Now to determine our ideal mixed air temperature, which the economizer control is going to look at, we need to take the discharge air temperature and subtract the fan heat. So that comes out to be 53 degrees. If we were able to make 53 degrees at the mixed air temperature section, then that means that we will be able to supply 55 degree air after the two degrees of fan heat, and we won't need any heating uh, or cooling to occur at the air handler level. So what we do is we take the values that we know and we test our hypothesis to see if we can meet our heating and cooling load with economizer control only. So we're going to plug this into the equation here. Percentage of OA equals 53, our ideal mixed air temperature, minus 72 over 41 minus 72. So that's going to equal negative 19 over negative 31, which equals 61%. Now whenever we get a percentage and we need to determine whether our economizer can meet this, we have to understand two different things. One, what's the maximum outside air percentage that we can have. Typically in a functioning system this is 100%. If you have a deficient system this could be less than 100% if you have broken dampers or linkages. And we need to know what our minimum is. In this case we have a minimum outside air percentage of 30%, 35% sorry, shown here. So because 61% falls within the range of 35% to 100% we know that we're able to make 53 degrees of uh, cold air at the mixed air temperature plenum and we are able to supply 55 degrees after the fan heat and we have no need for heating or cooling. If we start changing these numbers we can test some different hypotheses. So let's assume that we are not we do not have 41 degrees of outside air, we have 85 degrees. Now our ideal mixed air temperature has not changed, we're still trying to make 53, but now we have a new equation to plug in. We've got 53 minus 72 over 85 minus 72 comes to be negative 19 over 13. Now right away we can see that we have a negative number on the top and a uh, positive number on the bottom and so we know we're going to come out to be a negative number which ends up being negative 146 percent. Now obviously this number isn't possible but if we just look at the minimum and maximum this is less than the 35 percent minimum that this air handler is capable of so we're not able to meet our desired mixed air temperature at this scenario and so what we have to do is we have to solve to see what our mixed air temperature is actually going to be in this scenario we are using the same equation but we're doing it in a different way now we know that our outside air temperature our outside air percentage is 25%, sorry, 35%, because it is our minimum. And we do not know our mixed air temperature, so we'll represent that as X. 
We know our return air is 72. We know our outside air is 85 and our uh, return air temperature is 72. So we have to solve for x. So we know x minus 72 over 13 is what we're at. We need to multiply 13 by both sides. Let me get rid of this little piece down here so it doesn't look like I'm at 3.5%, I'm at 35%. So 35% times 13 is 4.55. So 4.55 equals x minus 72. We then add 72 to both sides. And we come up with x, or MAT, is equal to 76.55 degrees Fahrenheit. And so we know at this scenario that we're going to have to have our cooling co uh, coil engaged to Re reduce the temperature to remove heat from the air handler to get from 76.55 degrees down to 55 degrees. In a later video, we'll show how that heat is removed, but we're going to go through one more scenario. And this scenario is going to be looking at possibly violating the parameters that we have set based on a very low temperature. Now what you will notice is in these scenarios it takes a very low temperature in order to drop out of economizer mode. What we're looking at here is what if we had zero degree temperature outside and we want to know if we're going to have to reduce our outside air percentage to a minimum in order to uh, still satisfy our ventilation loads and activate our heating coil. Same thing here, we want to use our ideal mixed air temperature, which is our discharge air temperature minus the fan heat. So we go percentage of outside air equals 53 minus 72 over 0 minus 72, which comes out to be negative 19 over negative 72. So at least we have a negative on the top in the numerator and the denominator. And this comes out to be 26%. Now in this scenario, we again have to look at our 26% and compare it to our minimum outside air of 35%. And we can see right away that we have, uh, we cannot meet this condition. And so we have to then, just as we did before, solve a new equation. We want to say that our 35% is our minimum outside air. And we're going to say our mixed air temperature is our unknown, minus 72, over 0 minus 72. So down here we're equals negative 72, so we're going to multiply both sides by negative 72. Negative, multiply by negative 72. So that's 0.35 times negative 72. 72, and so this comes out to be negative 25.2 equals x minus 72. We add 72 to both sides. And then we come up with x, or MAT, equals 46.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Now again, instead of engaging the cooling coil in this scenario, we're going to have to add heat to the system to raise our temperature from 46.8 degrees to the 53 degrees, which will be explained in a later video. This is the logic that's used in a control system to determine if the economizer control can meet the parameters um, of the system without the use of heating or cooling. The economizer can be engaged and still need a cooling uh, coil load to reduce the temperature. A good rule of thumb to remember is if 
outside air temperature is less than return air temperature and greater than your ideal mixed air temperature, you are economizing. You could have a scenario where your outside air temperature is 65, your return air temperature is 72, and your ideal uh, mixed air temperature is 53. It still means that your outside air is going to be 100% open, but you will just be only creating 63 degree air and then cooling that air down even further to get to your ideal mixed air temperature. But you're essentially getting free cooling from the delta between the return air temperature and the outside air temperature.